all right guys so yep so let's discuss this in depth this strategy and uh, we'll talk about an in-depth you know uh, discussion of this one and maybe I hope you've learned so this is I call this ultimate scalping strategy so this is the step step by step guide and uh, I don't I I didn't invent this or uh, this strategy has been there for like long time period uh, maybe I just discovered I don't know but I, I think someone also using this one so all right so uh, Let's start from the scalping strategy methodology. So the, the key components of this strategy is uh, there's three components, which is the indicators, confluence fac factors, risk management. And uh, for the indicators, we're, ju we're using uh, moving averages, a combination of uh, simple moving average, exponential moving average. And then the other number two is the super trend. Uh, yeah, the average is simple, exponential, and smooth. It's a combination of those averages and then uh, super trend. So we only have two indicators, group of indicators, and then the confluence factors is the moving average crossover, the super trend confirmation, and the presence of fair value gap and market displacement. And of course, the risk management is really, imp really important. And for me, this is the number one important that you need to you know take care or you need to you know uh, carefully apply is the risk management and this is where most of the trader uh, like me uh, is really weak on establishing a risk risk management because um, the, the psychological factor of trading is the hardest part and uh, the greediness the fear and then uh, sometimes you are you know you think you're invincible and then it's, if that's happened then uh, it's hard you know psychological side of trading is the hardest part and if you can trade like a robot i think you will be a, you will be a, you will get rich by trading so yeah so that's uh, number one is the explain uh, the indicators and i'm using exponential moving average nine so this is the setup and I already discussed this on uh, on my previous video. If you want to watch this, you can watch it. But the reason why uh, I combine the smooth moving average and exponential move, a simple moving average and exponential moving average and smooth mo uh, smooth moving average is because uh, it's where you can catch a true movement. Uh, in my theory, uh, simple moving average then uh, exponential moving average then then tend to move faster. And uh, 21 is not that fast. I mean, 21 is uh, the length 21 will help you uh, catch the midline, mid, maybe midline move or mid move. Not that I know exponential moving average is fast, but putting it on 21 and crossing it over with a simple moving average nine, it's a good, it's a good combination for a signal. Uh, and then. If you and then my con confirmation or confluence factor for the trend is the super trend and ATR 14 and factor 3 uh, and this this is this one is a uh, what did I have very slow let me see yeah. um, oh let me let, let me adjust it I think. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I think. I think I'm too far from the mic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm too far from the mic. All right. Um. Yeah. So the reason why I uh, I put the average through rates to 14 is uh, it is a basic technical analysis, you know, indicator to make to measure the market volatility and if you put on 14 this refers to the period over which ATR is calculated uh, there's a formula on that but uh, 14 is the best way to uh, you know tame the volatility um, I think yeah uh, and the factor 3 
This, uh, this is the multiplier of the of the a uh, multiplier of the super trend that applied to ATR. I don't wanna I don't wanna go like more complex or more. I don't wanna go deeply on that because we're wasting we're wasting so much time. So, yeah, and then the risk management, of course, if you can manage to target one is to two risk reward ratio. That's, that is best, and I think this is the best practice. If you if you can trade doing that every day, every like once you have the once you have the one is to two, and then you go and the trade, and then trade for the next day. That's better. But uh, if you're trying to catch a trending market, which you cannot see that during the Asia time, uh, there is an exit. Uh, exit or invalidation uh, that I set up on this uh, strategy so you can carefully manage your you know stop losses and take profit on a certain points so I will I will go to that uh, for that later I will give you an example and then it's up to you but I think you will be get you will be more proficient or more consistent if you just apply one is to two risk and reward ratio. So for, like for example now, if I end my trade, I already have 150 and 150 for two hundred. That's that that is good enough. And then because because you know I, I was really I look at the which is my mistake and I'm human. I'm still I'm still cannot get rid of my ha previous habit and previous strategy. So I look up ten minutes and five minutes. 15 minutes and I see a good setup for ICT. I was tempted again, so this is the third time uh, I was tempted and lose, lost a lot while using this strategy. So <coughs> I was tempted for the supply and demand strategy, um, smart money concept strategy, and I was I'm, I'm thinking that the market will go hit that liquidity and hit the, the demand zone so that's why I add like three positions, and it's my mistake. So we need, I need uh, from now on, I need to follow one of my rules, that, and that one rules is just to follow, no matter what I see, no matter what I see, I will follow this strategy. I think if I can stick to that, I'll be like winning 90% all the time, like 90% winning percentage. And I know that's why the caption is like 90% win strategy because I backtested it multiple times. And I'm doing it also like after a week, and then a Saturday I I uh, I allocate Saturday and Friday to back back test the previous week, and I back test that previous week, and uh, we will start now. I already did back test it in like I have almost hundred. If I follow the strategy correctly and hit the signal on my back test. For back test for last week, I hit 100% win rate, like a 10 10 good trade last week. But of course, that is you know, uh, replay trading is easy than the real real market. All right. So this is the step ultimate uh, the ultimate scalping strategy step by step. So number one is uh, let's go. Oh, Jesus. Number one. Wait for the wait, wait for the moving average nine to cross the exponential moving average twenty one and the objective for that is to identify potential trade setups uh, and the method is of course monitor simple moving average uh, uh, nine and exponential moving average twenty one for crossover so long entry when the moving average nine MA nine cross, crosses above EMA twenty one. Uh, you're in there for long, and it for short, it crosses below. And uh, moving average crossover signal is put, uh, this, you know, this will potential. The purpose of that is to give us a signal for potential market direction. That's the first step. And then uh, the next step is the confirmation of super trend. So, example, let's give, I'll give an example for this number one. Example for that is, let's go here. I already prepared that example. It's kind of mess, but I will give you an example. So here, this is the last week man, uh, Asia session market kickoff. So market starts 
up eight. So I don't have a trade here. I don't have a trade. And then I open the market. I have this one last week. I open the market. I open my computer and the market is already trending down. Uh, I cannot enter here. I, I was here when I see this market. It's too far. If I enter here, my stop loss will be there, and I'm risking a lot. And then until I, until market start to consolidate. So once the market is consolidating, you should not enter the market because you will end up getting a lot of a lot of sig a lot of signals like here. You see this one. There's a cross and then cross again. So you will know. It's easy to you know. I think you need to practice uh, locate uh, identifying. Uh, consolidation and I know you already know this and so if the super trend is like this this is a consolidation uh, it's a little bit going down but it's consolidation and then all of a sudden at 250 to 2055 we have a signal here so moving average crossed so this is an example that's our signal and then super trend support the bull bias you see uh, yeah, so that's an example. Let's go back to the topic. So, yep. Then, uh, that's number two, the super trend. So, super trend will validate the market trend and uh, confirm, uh, will confirm if it is, you know, bull is so long. You already know the super trend and how it is uh, work. But the purpose of super trend is a confirmation mainly that the trades, you know, your signal is aligned with the current market. So it's adding an extra confluence. And then number three is, this is really important because this is your number three is identify displacement that created fair value gap and market shift structure. So this is really important uh, because this is where this, this is where you put your entry and this will tell you because one of the difficult things if you're trading one of the di difficult uh, things to do when you are trading is you don't know where to enter the market uh, you don't know where to uh, yeah right uh, during live uh, during live market no it, it, it is not um, it is not. I don't think so. It's lagging, because uh, that's why we have the confluences, and that's why uh, we have we need to we need to learn the market structure and the price action. And uh, in on this strategy, uh, market structure market structure and price action is on this step three. You don't need the other things. On this scalping strategy, strategy, you just need this identify displacement that created fair value gap in market market structure shift. So basically, this is a, uh, this is a, what you call it a price action and market structure. So this is you need if you want to apply this strategy or if you want to like test it. This is the only thing that uh, like it's about price action and market structure and it's all it's good if you add your like uh, your knowledge about candlestick pattern that that will help but I think if sometimes it will confuse you if you add too much theory or too much too much uh, uh, analysis on it but if you stick to like a, that's that's the purpose of this strategy is less less brain to use uh, so yeah so Identify displacement that created fair value gap, and so the my idea of displacement is uh, different from the displacement probably that you know from other you know YouTube YouTube channel or YouTube uh, guru guru, and then my fair value gap or the inefficiency gap is almost same, but if you don't know fair value gap, uh, fair Fair value gap is uh, this concept is you know uh, it, they use it for the price action during during trading, so you, uh, to identify inefficiencies in the market, you know where uh, so fair value gap is where price move too quickly in one direction 
and leaving a gap or imbalances in the order flow. So meaning that gap, that gap uh, become uh, also become an area of interest for for future price movement for most of the traders, and it, price tend tend to tends to retest or fill that gap or mitigate that gap before resuming to its uh, trend. So that's why fair value gap is really useful, and most of the trader are really, you know, are using uh, most of most of the trader use fair value gap or inefficiency candle or gap to enter a trade. And the market shift market shift is market shift structure is, you know, when uh, it, that's the area where the uh, where like where you can identify or give a confirm give you a confirmation that the market is shifting uh, or there's a significant you know significant significant change in the behavior of the market so a potential reversal or a continuation of the trend so market shift so that's why a displacement that created market shape and fair value gap is really important onto this uh, on this strategy now let's let's give you another example uh, I'll go back to that example here. Where are we? Okay. I think here. So you see, I'll zoom it in for you. Okay. So here, from from this uh, bear trend, we do have a change of a market shift here, a change of structure or market shift structure, and that because of this displacement, a displacement displacement can be a one candle or a group group of candles. So this one here, one, two, three, until here, is a display displacement candles, and then this displacement candles created a market shift structure. So this one here, and then. This mark, uh, and then leave a fair value gap, and this one is a fair value gap. You see, fair value gap. There's a gap here. So that's a good example of a displacement that created market shift structure and leave a fair value gap. This one. So that's the number three of the strategy. So once you have that one, two, three, you now. Uh, you already have a point of interest to enter the trade. So that's how you use it. Uh, then the number four, uh, number four of the strategy is actually, yeah, this one, I don't know why number five is that. So this is number four. Number four is the optimal entry. So the optimal entry is at the 50% of fair value gap. And I will I will have a, a one good video the video dedicated for fair value gap and how to identify or when to enter, where when to put an order on the 50% fair value gap, when to not. So I will have that soon. But yeah, optimal fair value gap is this is where you put your so example for this one. Uh, you just need to wait for the price to retrace to the 50% of fair value gap and for a long entry you know how and the purpose of this is you know increased likelihood of in entering the trade at favorable you know a good price or high potential uh, for profit so that's that's the purpose of putting it on the putting it on the what you call it on the 50%, but not all the time that you uh, you will put your entry on a 50%. So we will have a good video for that, uh, and we will practice that. I'm still practicing this strategy, but I know every time I I back tested this strategy, it's really good. But the only problem is you know emotion and uh, application. Uh, yeah, but I think if we follow the certain the, the rules of these one, two, three, four, five steps and get rid of the emotion and other factors that influence us to not follow the strategy, I think we will have a good uh, chance of having a consistent trade. A consistent profit, I mean. 
So now, uh, this is the optimum op optimal entry. This is the 50% here. So you put your entry there, like for example, the market is still here, like that. That's the market. You put your entry here on the 50% and put your stop loss here. So optimum entry is on the 50% of fair value gap and your stop loss at first candle form fair, fair value gap. So I, I kept on breaking this these rules that I made and I think some, uh, I mean, I didn't make, I, I learned it from some, some, someone else, YouTubers, um, and then I backtested it many times. So I keep on break, breaking this. So if you stick to that rule to keep your stop loss there, you will minimize your loss whenever you hit. So if you hit that stop loss, stop trading for now, meaning you don't have a good setup for today. So like, like for example this one here, so you put your stop loss here, uh, but by this time we're not yet entering because we don't have yet the super trend, but once you add that one, oh, where is it? yeah so that, that will be, uh, this will be Actually, if you were really following, this is not our entry. The entry will be here, on this one here. But it's not. It's or I think it's sometimes I enter early before the the super trend. But if you will really follow this one, this is our entry here. This will be our entry here. You see this fifty percent, and. Uh, this will be your entry. Okay, this is good. I have a good, good two example. Okay, I don't need to find. So you can enter here if you want, but tendency is sometimes you see you're still on the zone of the consolidation. You're still on the consolidation zone, but it's a good, good try because we have a good uh, market shape structure that breaking this consolidation we already have At the same time we have a good fair value gap and the retest is you know as you can see there's a good resistance on this level meaning uh, this one this area here is a good support yeah support um, not a resistance sorry a support so yeah you can it's a good try but if you're afraid to enter because the super trend is not supporting your trend or your bias because if you really follow the strategy this is where the super trend uh, this is where the super trend start right so I can enter here if I want to like enter on this like that and then you put your stop loss here you see you're not risking too much so my tolerance is except for tonight my tolerance is above 400. I will not, I will not risk above 400 usually. So you can, <coughs> sorry, you can enter here because you already have confirmed if you want to. And if you are not comfortable, like for example, you're not comfortable and you really, once you have the super trend and you enter here, and then you have this move until here. Without something like that. you have that move it's already far from you and you're not comfortable in entering the market because you will afraid that you will be like let me see you'll be like risking too much like 330 you don't want to risk 330 and if you don't want to put it here because you're afraid that you will get lost and you're afraid that this stop loss may hit from the retest maybe but sometimes Price tend to re retest the fair value gap multiple times. So if you're afraid, just don't trade. <coughs> wait for wait wait for another setup. Just don't trade. But if but for me the best entry for this one is this one here. 
best entry is this one. This is the best entry. Because there is a confirmation of the super trend, same time supported by this, and you're not risking too much if you enter this trade, right? Like that. But uh, I put my entry here because I traded this this one. Uh, I traded this one last week. That's where I put, put my entry. But this is the best entry for me. Mm. Then uh, 1 is to 2. Let's see 1 is to 2. For example, you enter that area. Sorry. 1 is to 2. So 250. So 1 is to 2 is 500. So 500 and then of course you're scalping so you should not leave your computer you're watching you're watching you're watching you're watching so by this time by this time you should be putting your uh, stop loss to a break even and uh, yeah you should now so you have the optimum entry you minimize your risk you already like go to break even and the criteria to go to break even is once you see a displacement candle or break of structure so this is a break of structure this one is a break of structure uh, where's my break of structure yeah I'll put it block so this is a break break of structure Mm -hmm. See, break of structure. So once you have a break of structure, meaning the price will continue to go up. There's a possibility the price will continue to go up because we have this pullback, a retest, and then a break, uh, a displacement again, and then created a break of structure. So break of, break of structure is different from market shift because because market shift is the the trend from short. And then change direction. That's why there's market shift. But this one is continuation, so it's just a break of the structure. And then you will put your. You have a bullish fair value gap. So it's a good. This is a good. This is an indication that okay, I will put my stop loss to the first candle that created the fair value gap. So now you're safe. You're safe. Uh, you're, now you're watching the market, and then this is where our exit option ABC will come. Uh, what is this? Exit option A, of course, is the one is the two, right? That we already, if you really want to make sure that you win, win like, okay, I'm winning. So I've, Where's the one is the two? Put that here, 25. So that's one is two is on the 500, I forget. So once we hit that 500, you are out because you already have the ex, uh, exit option A. And uh, that is, I put that there, I think you can come back. And this is numbers five actually from the strategy. Number five only have five steps so exit or uh, invalidate the trade setup so this is will manage your risk so we have option a b c option a is the standard one is to re reward ratio and for me uh if this one is if 40 takes stop loss and 80 takes take profit this is a reasonable especially if you are trading if you're not asia but if you're trading a new york new york uh, session in validation, we have if the moving average 9, MA9, crosses the smooth line or smooth moving average 10. So this is the one here. I put it under my simple moving average. So if you see, this is a simple moving average and you can uh, put a smoothing, smoothing like smooth moving average length is 10 under the 
simple moving average nine so this is my criteria to exit early if the ma9 crosses the s uh, smooth moving average 10. and then option c is if so this is either of the two either of the two if super trend bias shift exit or if moving average 9 crossed ema 21 uh, again exit because this is a signal for a reversal right that's the step number one so no matter what exit uh, so if super trend uh, okay come first exit if, if this one cross of the ma and ema 21 ma 9 and ema 21 exit so that's the purpose of so mid, the purpose of that exit criteria is to minimize your risk and the same time to catch a trending market to catch yeah so that's a good one you have a chance to catch you know those trending market that that will give you a good 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 win rate win right now uh let's continue this uh, example so you already hit your one is to two so you're done but but you're not following your exit option number AA and you are hoping that you will have a good trend market so let's see you move your you trail your take profit you move your stop loss here and then you're watching carefully for the blue line to cross the red see didn't cross yet so you're not doing anything so th by this time you see here by this time you're out of the market this time here because that's the exit option number uh, like B so by this time let's see if you're following exit option B so you're really exiting and then at the same time you see the super trend is uh, the super trend reversed shifted to bear well if I am trading this one I'll be exiting so I'm also not really sometimes you know, I get emotional and not following this and I end up like having a loss so like for example my trade tonight that's a good example <laughs> I did not follow the exit rule and I end up losing 800 then of course you see the exit C exit you see once the the uh, moving average 9 cross the EMA 21 definitely exit but that's that's why I'm I'm really like advocating that you should exit an entry on on either either like 1 is to 2 that's the best and then the second best is the option B once this uh, blue line cross the red line you don't need to wait for this one because you see if you wait for that there will be a move like this and if I did not put my st stop loss on the on the break even you'll end up hitting your stop loss right so that's the important uh, for me this is very important that I need to follow I'm, th I'm talking to myself because I'm really not doing this on some uh, on a cons consistently I'm not following it consistently but I think I should do it I should do it I must do it so that's an example now uh, that, that now I think uh, I'm done for this uh, for this video for this explanation I hope I hope uh, I think I hope you you follow or you understand what I'm talking about? I really don't know. Um, <coughs> yeah, oh, I hope you understand. All right, uh, I'll be posting this actually. Your for this explanation. I hope. I hope. Uh, uh, I'll give hope one you more example. You follow. This video or, uh, I think one you more. understand what I'm talking so let's about. See, let's go to. Um, <coughs> yeah. Oh, I hope you understand. Let's go to London session and we'll see. Maybe we'll have actually. a good, good catch there. Then after that, I'll end this video or end this live.
Let's see London. London, London. Uh, all right. So uh, London opening in a New York time frame. All right, sorry, New York session. Or I have this one here. I think I have it. Okay, this one. All right. So London session start at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for New York time. So you're not doing anything prior than that. So for, like for example, you, you woke up or you wake up at 3 a.m. And then this is what you see. There you are watching and waiting for. So now we do have, as you can see, you do, we do have, uh, not yet. So we almost have a cross of the moving average nine to to cross the you know to cross the EMA twenty one. Didn't happen. And now we have we have the cross super trend seems like consolidating, and but we don't have yet a displacement. No displacement. Now we have a displacement here. Uh, displacement that created market shape structure. Well, market shape structure. And we have a fair value gap here. Fair value gap. And we'll see. This is a minor, minor market shift. And we have, for me, minor. And you should you should take care of this one here because this will be the once we break this one i will confirm okay i will go i will sell because this is a console this is a range for consolidation this one here and then and then now this is a good one so this is our displacement from here to here we have another like this is a major like major market shift and then I really like this because the candle closed here and then the mark the the previous low is on the body of the candle like that and I will not take this one because it's already far and I don't think the market will stop there. Like example, I would like we'll, we'll retest this, but we may never know, right? So like that. So this is an example of a continuation. So that's why this one example of continuation from here. So sometimes London session is uh, most of the time, most often than not, it's a continuation move. The only exception is volume is high during London session. So if you notice that the bond volume is high, go down to 30 seconds. Oh, oh, well, allow me to go to 30 seconds. Go down to 30 seconds, like that. For example, here. If you go to 30 seconds, you will see a good right now, right like that. So this, if I see this, I know this is a minor break, uh, minor market shift, but I will take this trade. It's a little bit, a little bit risky, but all of the signal is there, like. The cross, the super trend, and the displacement of this first uh, first market shift and a fair value gap. And um, the reason why I won't be I won't be taking this as my entry is because it, it's been retested many times. And this one here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a retest on a, on a 30 second seconds. 
and if you go to one minute it's like one two three four five that's a retest and i don't think the price will really go back there and test it again and you'll end up like uh being left behind if you will put your entry there but if you wanna wanna you know so that's the only reason that i will not take this one so some that's why that's why it's really important to understand market structure and price action so I'll maybe I'll enter here like that and I'll put my stop loss there. Yeah, I'm here. Press candle 195. Then I'll be maybe aiming 500 uh, because this is a real good volume. So you see the difference? I'm on 30 seconds and I'm still like risking. Maybe if I'll put there, risking 200. And if I'll put here, I'll be risking like 500 a lot. So I cannot tolerate that, so I'll be here. So if I lose 195 or 200, it's fine. It's fine. I'll wait for the setup. So you see, 30 seconds. So once you you enter under 30 seconds or in the 30 seconds, go back to one minute because one minute is cleaner. One minute is cleaner in terms of the moving average average it's cleaner for me and in terms of identifying where to exit so by like that so if i see this one see it's a good from here i'm not sure for this candle then after this candle now i will be very very sure and Maybe I can scale my win like a thousand. Let's see a thousand like that. You see? And now this is the best time that I will have. This is the best time that I will. I will not. I will not. I mean, I will not follow one is to two because I will aim for more. Uh, this is the time because of this move. It's a good move. So I'll keep on scaling until I'll have, I have, like for example, I will choose, I'm already far, I will choose to exit once the blue cross the green and once the super trend will reverse. So that's the time I will choose to exit. Let's see how much will we have. I'll still scale. By this time, I already I have a, mar a break of structure. I'll put my stop loss there. But I'm still because I'm I'm aiming to get more. I'll give some more leverage. And now I got stop. So, so because it's already close. So by this time I should be I should be ending my trade. Well, let's do it again because this is supposed to be here. Let's see. We put your stop loss here. You're aiming for your risk. You're aiming for thousand. Let Let's see. Go. We'll go to the option C, the super trend and the twenty one. And then I need to get. Yeah. So by this time you should be exiting, because the blue line crosses the twenty one. I should be exiting. So it's, it's the best. So if I exit here, I have like 450. Still be winning. And then let, let's see. You didn't exit. It's because although the blue line crossed the 21, the trend is still, still bearish. So you will wait. Let's see if you will wait for the super trend to shift. This is what I mean of like catching the trend. Let's see. It's, it's consolidating. It's consolidating. So you see how, how straight it is, meaning the trend is consolidating, but it's still bare. So that's why I'm holding, because it's still bearish. Still bearish, and now returning to so 
Maybe with this time, this is the time that the best time to go here. I'll see here. Let's see, okay, let's have 500. Now, you're becoming greedy, so I think the price will still go because it's like we have this uh, short run. Let's go more until. We have enough. And it's still going down. Okay, let's go more. In reality, by this time, I'll, I'm out. Maybe at 500 or 4. So now this is the best time to exit because this is the best time to exit. It's because we have all the criteria for the next signal. Uh, we'll exit. So we have, you have 1,800. But now, do you see, if you want, this is a good time to buy again if you want to because that's a signal, right? Across a super trend, a displacement, and then a fair value gap. And a bullish fair value gap. And you are not risking a lot if you put your even if we put it here, you're not, risk, you're not risking a lot. And then you're aiming to get that another thousand. It's so easy, right? In, in, in paper trading. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, at this time I'll be out. Uh, let's see. Oh no. Let's make it fast. Make it faster. It's a we're in consolidation, but you see we barely it almost stats our stop loss, so we see it's it's a very good one. This one is a good trade. Although we have this, I will hold this. If I have, if I, I'll, I'll be holding this because of the price action. Even though we have this cross multiple times, I'll be holding it because the trend is still like going up. If you draw a trend line, you can apply trend line to this strategy. Like this strategy is like a basic, 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 and it's all of the basic basic strategy that you can find and, and easy to follow you see you hit you hit another thousand it's a very good one so the reason if i catch this one most likely not because i'm not i don't i don't trade this time period but if you have this one it's a good trade it's a good trade i'll be holding it maybe and because I'm not risking a lot, even I have this move, I'm not like ending my trade.